welcome at the Ventec Technology Talk. Uh, I'm Scott, uh, Product Manager from Advantech. Today, we, are to we will talk about device to the age. Uh, it's my pleasure to invite Tony Hello. and Bert, Hi. Uh, two IoT solution architecture from Microsoft. Okay, so now uh, I, I believe digital transformation is a very hard topic uh, for the equipment maker. Everybody looking for the business uh, transformation, but the first they need to get the, all the data from the, their equipment, and then you can do the analysis and then find some uh, business insight, and help them to find uh, more and more benefit uh, to enhance their equipment or to build out a new ecosystem or partnership with their and uh, end users. Okay, so uh, it was a, uh, it, it has a problem to get an opportunity in IoT for the legacy system integrator because the you need uh, to process uh, the big data, how you handle the big data storage and the processing, and now uh, more and more uh, equipment it will be implemented in the worldwide. So how how do you to can uh, manage? and uh, collect the data from those kind of the equipment from the uh, different places in worldwide is also the big uh, question. And also for the uh, equipment maker, the bottleneck is uh, they, they take a lot of the cost for the traveling or training uh, to their end users. And uh, they don't want to have the um, one-time business. They, will have, they want to develop the long Turn business partnership with their customer, so that's why we need the, some different solution to our, our customer. Okay, Microsoft is the world leader of, of the cloud service provider. We know uh, they have a different successful story in different sector. Hi, Tommy, could you share one of them? Okay, uh, so uh, when it comes to the Azure. Uh, we can uh, talk about uh, at first for the roadmap of the equipment of the feature. We can see from the double lot we have three uh, phases. We call the connected, uh, predictive, and the governative. So I think uh, most of the company uh, has been uh, achieved the connected phases, and let's try to uh, uh, go to the second uh, phases for the uh, predictive or the AI. So let's talk about uh, the AI. So uh, when we talk about the AI, uh, we can uh, share this, uh, we call uh, service or the uh, program that we call the anomaly detection. And when we talk about the RD sensors, we talk about the data. So when we collect a lot of data from the sensors, uh, we want to do the uh, first step is to detect the anomaly detection. So uh, for this one, I want to check the, the Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you implement the anomaly detection in current rate? Yeah, so far uh, we need to set, uh, do some configuration in yes. our device. So there is, is the, there is some uh, high limit or low limit mm -hmm. we need to preset into our device. And okay. then based on this uh, different condition, mm -hmm. customer to know that uh, different uh, uh, like, uh, the data of the of a uh, of the uh, sensors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I think that you you, you say uh, you have have to uh, set the threshold. Yes. Yeah. So if you uh you can uh, leverage the AI service, so you you don't have to uh, set the threshold. The AI model uh, will uh, will learn uh, from the behavior and the uh, output a model uh, to. Uh, detect your anomaly. So if you can leverage this service, you, uh, it will be easier for your anomaly detection uh, uh, in the uh, in the factory. In the factory, yes. Okay. So uh, let's talk about another topic about the uh, IoT Central. Okay, uh, IoT Central is uh, uh, we call the SaaS platform that you can uh, create your device and uh, create your dashboard easily. Uh, in five minutes, so it's a uh, uh, fully managed by the uh, Microsoft. So you can uh, quickly uh, develop your uh, IoT solution uh, based on this platform. 
So, and uh, another another good thing is that we have a lot of what we call the uh, custom uh, extension. So, for example, uh, you can have the uh, plug and play features. So, uh, when you comes to another uh, third party devices, uh, we can uh, leverage the uh, PMP uh, to connect to the LD Central uh, without any efforts. So, let's talk about more uh, for the PMP. So, uh, for the uh, IoT plug and play region, uh, we want to uh, try to make sure that customer can connect to uh, our IoT platform easily and uh, we can uh, uh, define the we call the schema or the standard schema uh, to connect to IoT platform. So, if you uh, imply our if you apply uh, the IoT plug and play to your devices, so you can uh, very easily and quickly to connect your device to our IoT platform. Okay, so there are a huge number of equipment makers in energy and environment sector, like the low voltage distributor or water pump maker. What kind of a tool on the Azure Cloud can help uh, this lost kind of a manufacturer uh, to know the operation status at the field side and improve its design in the next generation? Okay, so when we talk about the uh, digital tools, we will uh, see this that uh, the devices, people, and the space will come into this river. So we just want to try to uh, simulate the physical world into a digital world. So we can operate the digital models to make the physical world uh, to have the real uh, actions to uh, to be triggered. So uh, uh, if we if you want to uh, enter a digital twist uh, this this field. So you have to uh, think about uh, uh, from those three areas. So uh, uh, no matter uh, from the device, our people, our space view, uh, all you have to do is to try to create a simulated model and upgrade it uh, for your, uh, no matter the rules, our event triggered. And, and uh, we want to, the physical world can be uh, triggered uh, by the devices and uh, to make some uh, uh, progress or make some uh, you know uh, different uh, things to happen. So uh, when we try to uh, make this model happen, we will talk about uh, uh, our service we call the uh, Azure Digital Tools. Okay, so uh, when you look into this uh, diagram, uh, you can see that we have a lot of uh, Square uh, on the right hand side, so uh, it invests it it, uh, it invests more, more and more uh, spaces uh, into our digital tools. Uh, for example, uh, if you will try to uh, simulate uh, arm uh, to operate uh, in a factory, so uh, in the before you have to uh, control uh, the robot uh, robot arm and to make the rule of the program. Uh, to make the robot uh, move to the uh, desired uh, uh, space or uh, desired uh, the action. But uh, for, for our uh, digital tools, you just have to create a model and uh, if you operate this model and the, the robotic arms will uh, move uh, to the uh, desired space uh, based on your actions. So that's more easier to, uh, to simulate the, the physical world uh, in the uh, digital model. So if you can leverage the service, that I think that it will be easy to uh, to make a, a physical world uh, to go quickly and smoothly uh, based on the digital twins uh, models. Okay, thank you, uh, Tommy's introduction that we know there are a lot of different services in the Azure Cloud that uh, our customer can select and implement with your uh, your solution. So now back to the advanced tech. Uh, here is the uh, lightweight device to cloud architecture. You can you can see uh, the the traditional architecture that you need uh, the sensor, device, gateway, platform, uh, different layers for in your uh, system. But in, now we are talking to uh, we are talking about device to the cloud. So all of the advanced tech device, we can provide the direct uh, connection with uh, Azure. 
So depending on the different uh, solutions, we have the wild and the wildest solution. We have the uh, device, MCU-based device, or we have uh, Intel-based platform. All of them can support the, the uh, data published to the Azure directly. So here, I want to highlight four different uh, future for advanced tech device that uh, to help our customer. Okay, so as you can see that when we talk about the a, a device to cloud or we, we talk about the edge to cloud, that means uh, we don't need the gateway. And here, Advantech already built in this kind of the functionality with our device. That means our, our customer, you don't need any engineering resource to develop any uh, program. You just configure and then you can send the data to the Azure. And then fully compatible with uh, Azure IoT Hub because the uh, IoT Hub is the uh, is, uh, uh, entry of the uh, Azure services. So the first step, we need to send the data to the IoT, uh, Azure IoT Hub. And then you can uh, select a different service as uh, Thomas mentioned in the previous uh, introduction. And like the uh, machine learning, uh, digital twin is kind of a solution. You can use it uh, with our data on the cloud. And third one is because now we are talking about the edge to cloud. So the reliable data is very important when you use the uh, wireless solution like the uh, LTE or Wi-Fi solution. So here, Advantech device provide a, a data recording and the uh, data pretreatment service to save you uh, for the communication fee. And uh, you can reduce the data bandwidth between a uh, device to the cloud. The, the last one is about local storage. Because sometimes you will face the um, unstable, unstable communication. Okay, so and when this kind of the problem happen, our device can still uh, collect the data from the field, from the sensor, POC, different kind of devices at the field side. And then we do the local storage within our devices. So then after we uh, re reconnect the, the connection between the device to cloud, we can uh, do the breakpoint resum to make sure uh, zero data loss during the whole wireless communication. Okay, so just uh, show you some case study for your for your reference. The first one is uh, we talk about the uh, uh, pump station monitoring. In here, you can see we use our ADEN 6000 series that we, su we support different IO uh, interface, like the analog input, uh, RTD for the temperature monitoring, and also the digital input to collect a different condition of the water pump. And then in here, we use the one uh, serial router to help uh, this ADA module uh, can send the data to the Azure. So in, in, uh, on the cloud side, you can see the real time uh, operation status of each uh, water pump. So you can analyze, it, uh, analyze the data and uh, for your uh, further action uh, of the each, each uh, field side. The second one is about the weather station because like for, for example, now the renewable energy is very hot topic, especially the uh, rooftop solar system. And also we, uh, we want to collect the power generation data and also the real-time weather, sta uh, weather status in a different location. And then we can know uh, uh, the, the best uh, power, uh, power generation for the each rooftop. So in here, we also use the Aiden with our serial router to, to do the uh, data collection and publish it to the Azure. The third one is about the distributed equipment management. The first one is a, a mobile power generator. As you can see, uh, normally inside, they have the uh, controller or POC in this kind of equipment. And then we can use our gateway uh, device, ECU 1000 series, to collect the data by uh, different industrial protocol. In here, we use the MOBAS RTU. 
and then we use the LTE function to set the data to the cloud. And also the similar uh, architecture, we use the A density 600 to collect the data from the low voltage distributor. Okay, the last case study is about the water facility monitoring. As you can see, we collect the data uh, from the major uh, PLC vendor like the Siemens or uh, Rockwell. And then we can use our device to get the data uh, of each PLC and uh, send the data to the Azure. Okay, so I think that is about the, uh, the solution. And then uh, now Azure is a total solution provider. Uh, not on, on the cloud and also at the edge side. But uh, I know that uh, Azure Sphere is a new launch MCU based uh, hardware from Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, could you give me some highlight of the Azure Sphere and the reason why Microsoft want to uh, release it? Yeah, sure. Uh, Azure Sphere is a highly secure MCU chip designed specifically for the IoT devices. I think the design rule was based on the seven property uh, proposed by the Microsoft research. The seven property includes uh, some property can only cover by the hardware, and some properties uh, can cover only by the hardware plus the software, and some of them are covered by the hardware plus software and plus the cloud security services. Uh, with all these properties together, Microsoft Azure Sphere can provide an overall secure solution to uh, the IoT uh, ecosystem. And that Azure Sphere comprises many uh, three parts. The first part is the Azure Sphere chip itself. So through the uh, hardware's physical characteristics, we can uh, implement the hardware root of trust inside the hardware. And the second part is the Azure operating system, Azure Sphere operating system. That system was derived from the open source Linux operating system uh, platform. And we tailored that system into a IoT specific operating system. The third part of the Azure Sphere is the Azure Sphere security services. And in addition to the security protection and authentication uh, services, Azure Sphere also provides the constant update to the devices to cope with the daily threat that we face every day. And with that all uh, uh, three parts together, I think uh, the partner who uses Azure Sphere can uh, can really focus their own core competence on designing their, their own algorithm or their business services on that platform instead of worrying too much about the security. So you can just leave all the security affairs to Microsoft. Okay, uh, thanks Bert. So that's why Advantech also select uh, Azure Sphere as our uh, course uh, MCU based uh, of the WISE 4000 series. So here you can see uh, the WISE uh, 4250S, uh, 40, the Azure Surface inside. That uh, small device uh, with uh, Azure Surface security features, and we can collect the data from the production line, facility, uh, to and also send the data with the security uh, terminal to the Azure to help uh, our customer to secure the data and make sure they can get uh, the data uh, on the Azure for the analysis and the dashboard. Okay, so today, uh, thank Tommy and Bert. Uh, thanks for your time to introduce uh, Microsoft Azure and uh, uh, Azure Sphere. Okay, so if you want to, to, to get more detail, uh, you can go to uh, you can scan the QR code or search the keyword to uh, more information. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.